I'm crazy. Slow down. I don't know how to. Sweet lord. I would say that's a jump. Gun it. Gun it. Oh crap. Ah. Oof. Hold up. We've got enough time. Ah, shut up, Commissar. We are underwater right now. Somehow still driving. Holy crap! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh sweet lord. Got some good speed going now. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Hold up. We've got enough time. What is going on? What is happening? Yeah, no shit! Hello there guys, it's Matmus. thank you for joining me today on this video. Uh, we're trying to get into a new game here that was kindly donated to me by one of my followers of my channel. Thank you so much sir for donating me this game on Steam, I really do appreciate it. Uh, with that being said guys, for those of you who have donated me games in the past uh, and that haven't seen me play them online or on my channel yet, I do apologise. I've got a very limited time span to be able to do what I need to do uh, online and gaming and such. So just be patient, hopefully I'll get around to your games, don't take it too personally um, that, I, that I haven't played them yet. Um, and as, as always, I totally appreciate any donation that's given to me, um, to my channel and supporting me. It really does mean a lot to me. So today we are playing Iron Warriors T72 Command. As I said before, nicely donated. Uh, thank you once again. And uh, it's kind of a T72 simulation game. Kind of an old one. Never really heard of it, to be honest. It could be interesting to see how this goes. I think a little different to Steelies Pro, for sure. Um, the graphics, obviously, are going to be a little less... Uh, a little less than desired than what we're used to, but the guys, this is a retro game, so we've got to give it some credit. And uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this game. Apparently, it's quite realistic in terms of actually driving the T-72, for sure. So let's get in here and stop boring the crap out of you. Uh, first of all, let's select a player. We are not going to be default, because that is boring. Let's put a new player in here. And we will set it to the standard name of who I am. So uh, let's go here, then. Uh, enter. We'll select him, and we'll go... Play. Here we go. So we found that uh, I don't think this is training. Let's go back here. Let's go to single missions. Driving. There we go. We got training to do first. That is a very oddly shaped um, <laughs> track right there. Very odd. I don't know why that kind of jumped out at me, but it's very odd. Uh, so what we got going on here? You need to complete the driving training course. You need to drive through all the waypoints on the driving range and fill all tasks. Your tank is a T72. Beautiful tank. Uh, so, we got bypass, minefields, a Ford, highway, all sorts of different things going on here. So, let's give it a shot, I guess, see how we do. Oh, open up Steam, different window openings, never a good sign really, is it? Let's see what's going on. Every hero becomes a bore at last. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Never heard of your fella, and that's kind of a very odd thing to state, but uh, cool, cool, whatever works for you, man. Okay, here we are. Press the E button and hold it until the engine starts. Fix the throttle in the middle position. Button up. Okay, so E. Okay, I've got to hold it. Come on, baby. Start up. I know you're cold. Okay, fix the throttle in the middle position. Button up. Okay, there we go. Throttles forward. And when engine starts, release the brake by pressing the B. Change to first gear by pressing the A button. Okay, so let's take our... Well, we're really driving this thing. Okay, so we're going to take our brake off, and we're going to go forward, I guess? No, A. A was gear, that was it. Oh, there we go, we're in first gear. Beautiful. Oh, okay, let's uh, see what else we got going on here. How do I drive this damn thing? Where's my steering? Oh, there we go. Left stick, right stick, left stick. I mean, right stick, left stick. Okay, so uh, I guess we should put a bit more throttle on then. Maybe bump up a gear. There we go. Put some more throttle on it. Let's let's punch it. Let's get going here. Let's put my rev counter on the bottom left. There we go. I'm going to follow this ugly looking fucking digger thing. I don't know what the hell it is, but we're going to follow it anyway. Okay, uh, this is our start point, I guess. Let's bump up another gear. in fifth gear now. Just trundling along in this bad boy. That's a stop sign. Are you crazy? Slow down. I don't know how to. Sweet lord. No rush. We've got to increase fuel feed before fording. 
Switch to second gear. Oh crap, how do I go down gears? There we go. Whoa, drop the, drop the throttle. Okay, I'm going to burn my gearbox up. Okay, here we go. Switch to second gear. Drop the throttle. There we go. Okay, so we're in second gear. Let's let's punch it up a little bit though. We've got a Ford ahead of us, so there we go. Looking beautiful and driving very nicely now along this track. I don't know how to change my view, but I guess we'll work on that later. Traveling at a nice steady 20 to 30 kilometers an hour right now. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just drop it down a little bit here. Oh, is that a, that could be a jump? I would say that's a jump. Gun it, gun it. Oh crap! Whoa! Oof! Hold us. We've got enough time. Ah, shut up, commissar. I'm gonna take this thing for its paces. T72 strunk. Okay, nice, very tall grass here. Clearly ruined the countryside. Okay, so I've got to go down in second gear here. So let's just drop it down a little. I'll make sure uh, my revs are nice and high. Make sure that nasty water doesn't get inside my uh, power pack here. Getting those engine fans running nice and fast. Blasting all that horrible water out that could flood my engines. So we've got the revs up nice and high. Second gear, here we go. We're going into the Ford. Now, I don't want to be doing any turning whilst in muddy... Oh, crap. Oh, God. Okay, I've put it into first gear now. Okay, we are now fording. We're actually underwater. We are underwater right now. Somehow still driving. Um, that's okay. Okay, we're in second gear now. Bumping. No, we'll just stay in first. I don't want to flood that engine. Okay, we're cresting out of this beautiful, beautifully graphically rendered water here. C72 is not happy right now. It is not happy whatsoever. Okay, there we go. So my oil pressure is a little higher than what I'd be used to, I guess, with it. What's that, about 80, 80 90? Oh, yeah, that's about right. Oh, that's degrees. Sorry, that's, uh, that's not pressure. That's temperature. And that's good. Nice working temperature there. Okay, let's get some speed going, bumping up gear. This is real driving, this. This is this is not like Steel Beast, where I just press go and off we go. We're actually kind of working with the gears and the sticks and the tillers and the brake. We even got a blade on the front of it. I don't know what AKPP means. I'm sure one of you in the obstacle, obstacle in the comment section below are going to give me some heads up on that. Okay, so let's bump up on another gear then. Max throttle right now, just pushing through the gears. I'd love to know what my third person view is, but we'll just keep rolling like this for now. Oh yeah, just cruising. Nice 25 k's an hour. <laughs> okay. Whoa, concertina wire! Holy crap! Dropped down the gear too much there. Gearbox is probably going to explode. Okay, here we go. Now, i got a lot of tank traps going on here. It's kind of making me a little nervous. I'm not too sure exactly where I'm supposed to go, but I guess if I just keep away from them... Holy crap! Got dragon's teeth and all sorts of things going on here. Concertina wire... Again, never a good thing. Let's slow it down a bit here. We're going to come left around that wire. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's a big ditch. Easy, Tiger. Lower us. We've got enough time. Silence. It's never enough time. Around the corner. Whoa, holy crap! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh sweet lord. What just happened? Put it in neutral. Park a brake on. Please say she starts again. Did not see that coming. Okay, engine started. Okay. Brakes off. Put some gas on it. Put it into first gear. Okay, let's drive then. Oh dear. You know what I think I've done? I'll tell you what I've done. Okay, hold there. Easy, easy, easy. I've got to find out what my third person view is. Someone help me. Stop! Scan. Okay, here we go. We've got some views going on here. Oh no, I knew it. Look at that. I've detracked myself. Okay, I don't know how to retrack. Um. 
crap. It's gotta be a way, it's gotta be a way. Uh, oh crap. I can't believe it, I only just got into the game. Okay, uh, okay. Maybe there's a fix button. Stop. Yeah, no shit, stop. Um, hmm. Let's go here. Let's go to. Oh crap, there isn't any. Oh no. It's gotta be a way to retract the vehicle. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just try it. Let's try, uh, let's put brake on. That's just stalled. She is not going anywhere. Nope, she is done for, guys. I think I have totally ruined this. Oh no, I haven't. It's not gear. There we go. Okay, let's go, let's go. She'll go right stick. She won't do anything else. Oh! Oh! I think it may have retract. I think we've put. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we have. There we go. She's moving again. We're off. Holy smokes. They came out of nowhere. We're going to have to take it steady through this extremely long grass. This is my objective. Okay, this time we'll go around them, not over them. That was interesting, to say the least. Okay. Drop our throttle down a little bit. There's no need to go that fast. Okay. Where to next? Come and start. Reach objective. Reach point alpha. Okay, a bit of a neutral turn a little bit going on here. And let's punch it again. I don't know. I can't see where objective alpha is. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's do this. Hell to the metal, buddy. Ooh, easy, easy, easy. Nice little tank ditch there. Okay, here we go. Back on track. That looks like an awfully large ditch, so we're just going to go around that. Looks like hell. Let's drop my throttle down. Whoa. Yeah, whatever that is to the right. In fact, we're going to hold. Can I neutral turn in a T72? The answer to that is no. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to try and take a look at what was down that ditch, but I'm not too concerned now. Okay, so maybe if I go into my other view here. Oh, there we go. Got a nice little third person view. That's what I wanted to look for. Probably have seen those bloody pillars more. Okay, let's jump up a gear. That's a miss. We're going to fucking explode this gearbox. Got some good speed going now. Whoa! Oh my goodness! No rush. We've got enough time. Oh my god. What the hell just happened there? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, so I don't know what the hell just happened there. My god. <laughs> What's going on? What is happening right now what is going on what is happening yeah no shit literally have no idea what just happened there literally have no idea like that was crazy I pressed left stick just a little bit and yeah okay so I guess we're gonna try some gunnery this time see if we can actually uh, practice how to play this game uh, for shooting stuff which is clearly what the tank is designed to do so I'm gonna jump onto the firing range see how we do here Okay, so here we go. So first of all, we'll jump to the commander station F7 and order the driver to move to waypoint. We can do move that. Move to waypoint. Move to waypoint. Oh, look at those beautiful trees, looking fantastic there. So we're in the commander's position right now, looking through his, uh, I guess, his commander's independent sight, the top of the vehicle here, scanning the horizon. Let's have a look at that beautiful T72 in all its glory. We should be able to get kind of a scan of the area here. There we go. Beautiful. OK, 
Okay. So, as you can see, guys, the machine gun on the top there is actually pointing towards the rear, and you're probably wondering, well, why is it doing that? Shouldn't he be looking, uh, or the gun be pointing with the way I'm looking? Well, no, because on the T-72, the sight is actually to the, um, I guess, the gun and the sight, when buttoned down, hatch down our opposites. So, I'm actually looking through the sighting system uh, right now, as if it was uh, pointed to the front and the gun is to the rear, mainly for the fact the hatch is closed. So that is why, that's why you may be a little bit confused as seeing the gun to the rear there. Scanning around, scanning around, heading towards our first position. Looking pretty good though, isn't it? Quite impressive, kind of the, gives me the feel of steel armor blaze of war, but the primitive older retro version of it. Uh, and instead of a T-62, we're in a T-72. Okay, so position one, nice little tank dug out there, looks uh, promising. Okay, curious as to what these uh, buttons on the bottom left and right are, I'm sure we're going to find out pretty soon here. Okay, take to the gunner's station, F6. Turn on the SOU, oh, sorry, SUO, S. We are on. Choose high explosive fragmentation round. Okay, um, I don't know which round that would be in Russian, but I presume that one. Load round by pressing R. Set the psyching mark and the arrows. Okay. Find range, right button, and shoot space. Okay, we can do that. So let's get the range to that hill. Let's put a round down range. On the way. Oh, we got some zoom there too. Beautiful. Well, we hit the hill, I guess. Uh, it looks like it could be high explosive. There's a flame coming off it, so it's unlikely that would have been a, a save -o. Okay, let's continue on to the next main point. That's a nice steer in there. Okay, so we're in the gunner's position now and get, rotate that turret a bit more. Looks fantastic. We do need to reload, get a fresh round in there, so let's do that. Okay, auto loaders working nicely. Okay, guys, so this is an auto loaded vehicle, uh, which is good to good to have for its various reasons. But uh, as you will hear on my previous video in regards to auto loaders with manual loaders, my personal preference is manual loaders. But uh, this vehicle clearly has its advantages with its auto loaders, so you can uh, talk about that as you wish. So we're scanning left, heading towards position two. Not too sure what we're going to encounter. Probably some actual targets for me to engage. Now, I don't know what these rounds are. BPS, OFS, I'm presuming BPS is going to be my standard fin round, being its main battle tank. I want to carry as many of them as possible. So we've got 17 of those. OFS, I, I'm not sure. Same number of them. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not too sure what's inside there. Smoke rounds, I guess. And 250 of those. Is that coax? I, yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm selecting there, but we'll, we'll keep with the BPS for now. Yeah, we've got a round in the chamber there. So if you look at my bottom part of the uh, screen there, guys, you've got my range on the right. Uh, I presume the round that's selected in the center, and then the green light is to indicate that the round is loaded. So that's nice to have. It's kind of the same sort of uh, gun uh, symbology that we're used to and seeing on Steelbeast Pro. For those of you who are new to my channel, please go check out those Steelbeast Pro videos. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. It's a lot more intensive of a simulation than this... Uh, particular game, but honestly, I'm actually kind of enjoying this training situation for this uh, for this simulation right now. It's, you know, it's going to get a bit getting used to. It's an older game, but I'm enjoying myself. Definitely enjoying myself. Let's see if we can get some rounds down range here. Once this vehicle actually uh, gets in gear, so to speak, get up to position two, we can actually start shooting at some stuff. Hundred and eighty one meters, never has a distance felt so far away in this particular vehicle. It looks like it's on fire really, isn't it? <laughs> Engine's just cooking off nicely. Come on, driver, change gear. <laughs> I'm sure he's doing a stellar job in that little driver's hatch down there in front of me. So as you're probably already aware, most of you, this is a three person crew without the uh, manual loader, it drops the big crew down to three.
Well, guys, there's no T14 Armada, <laughs> but it's uh, it's definitely a lot of fun to play so far. I can't wait to actually get some proper missions. I just want to run through the training and see I've got everything covered before I continue on this series and try and actually take on some real real life targets. So here we are in position two. I'm going to jump into my gunner's spot here. Oh, here we go. This must be our actual firing range now. I'm seeing vehicles and oh, bunkers, yeah. All sorts of stuff going on. Okay, order commander to search for targets. Three, Damn. scanning. Use a machine gun to take out infantry using the Q. Use the gun against vehicles to shoot moving targets. Fine range, wait a second. Hold target on sighting mark. Fine range once again. Ballistic commute will make a correction. Okay, so let's zoom right in then. We've got infantry in the open I can see straight away, so we're going to mow them down with Q. Beautiful. Let's get some range on there. It's one down. Oh no, he's just taking cover. Oh, okay, let's let's try and there we go. They're digging in nicely on that trench line there. Oh my god, I've not killed one of them yet. Come on, that's just... Really? Okay, you should be dead by now, fella. Are you gonna die or okay there's one. Oh, he's changing positions and everything, that one. Look at him go. Don't say I'm out of ammunition. Don't say I'm out of ammunition. I think I'm out of ammunition. Okay, so we're going to put some main gun rounds through to them. Uh, ooh, BMP in the open. Let's see if I can get a range on that. 1105s, put a round down, hopefully we hit. Negative. Okay, reload. That was definitely a miss. Wait for that green light and fire. Got you. Got one. Reload. So that's definitely going to be our fin round then, or saber round. Knocked out that vehicle nicely. Oh, he's still moving, cheeky little bastard. Okay, you want some more, dear? I'll give you another one. There you go. Have a bit of that. Reload. Let's see what else we can find here. Ooh, T34. I'll take that one out for sure. Okay, let's get some range on it. On the way. Nice. Don't know if we knocked him out though, so we'll give him another one. He's aiming straight at me. Come on then, let's do it. Give him another one. Shit. Yeah, no shit hit. You should be down and out for the count. Please don't say you're going to move again. Your T-34, it's just took two Sabre rounds. Okay, I'll give you another one. And this one is kind of right through your side armor, so... Oh, through your back decks. I think the crew's just got out. I've got no more coax left, so that's fine. We will continue on looking for other targets. Looks like an artillery piece there. Tanker. Let's see if I can get... Uh, Targets down there. RPG gunner. Let's put a saber around the right front of him. Yeah, bud. I'd have a dart through your face. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's change to different ammunition. Let's check what this ammo is. Hopefully, it's going to be high explosive. Completely wasted all of my coax, so we're going to have to take out these guys with the. Uh, Not too sure what kind of ammunition this is, but it's not doing what I intend it to do, or maybe it's just oh yeah. Maybe it did. <laughs> They're not there anymore, so that's a good sign. Let's reload that one then. I'm gonna give him another one. These are clearly my high explosive then. OFS is uh, gonna be our high explosive. This one's looks like he's taking a dump. I'm gonna give him the good news. Range it on the way. Oh yeah. Beautiful! Destroy the enemy group targets. Move to position three. Move you heard the man driver. Let's get going. Okay. Let's get another heat round in there, shall we? I wonder what happens if I actually fire in the third person perspective. Please say it's going to pop out the brass. Here we go. Let's try it, shall we? Oh, yes. you got to love it when the games do that. I love it with Russian armor when they pop out the auto load around brass out the back. Just fantastic. Okay, so we're going to reload then. 
Oh, it even does the gun barrel elevation. Fantastic. The auto loader. That's awesome. I like it. I like it. Immersion, guys. Immersion. It's definitely there in this game. Okay, so moving on to position three, which is over this way now. Could take the most awkward route, don't you, driver? Jesus, why can't you just go on left? It's going to be interesting once I start getting people firing back at me. I'm going to see how well we do on this uh, particular game later on in the future here. We'll continue the series going. I just want to make sure I'm practicing everything and getting all the key skills that I need to get into this game properly. So I've got a position three now. Looks like we're just going back to position one. Okay, here we are at position three. wonder what they're going to throw at us this time. Take the commander station, F7, order the gunner to fire, two. Open fire! Okay, so I've got a designated Azimuth tank. Zero. Oh, he's doing it for me. Okay, let's go in here. So I'm going to designate a tank. Order gunner to fire, find a tank, designate the right button. Okay, so I'm going to find a tank. Hold your fire! Okay, so... I told him to hold his fire, I'm pretty sure, but that's okay. Open fire! So, two vehicles. One vehicle and a tanker. That's got out of his busted up vehicle. Azimuth Zero. Leopard 1A4. Range there we go, we've got some plus. German armor coming out now. Target! One... Yeah, light it up. Let's do it. Target is heat. Nice. He's just doing his own thing. I don't even have to worry about it. I've got a good gunner here. He just seems to be doing his own thing. Putting rounds down range. Don't know how well he's hitting them. We're going to take over though, fella. I want to have a go myself. See what we've got going on here. Reload. Okay, got a round in the breach. Oh, it's too high. We're in a bad position here. I'm actually going to uh, tell my driver and get to the driver's spot. F5. Let's go uh, take the brake off. And come hard right. Put the gas up so we can get some neutral turn out of here. There we go. And we're just going to close down the throttle. Put the brake on. We've got a better firing position there. That's a little nicer. Back into the gunnery section. Here we go. Okay, we've got a round. Uh, it's a Leopard 1A4. It's coming straight for me. It's coming straight for us. Okay, we're going to laser it and try to put round through the front. In, in between the turret ring if we can. Target Beautiful is hit. hit. Beautiful hit. Azimuth 1-5. Range 1000 plus. He's definitely out for the game. Target. Target where? Where, 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 where? Where is it? Position 4. Let's get... Uh, Move to waypoint. So driver to move to the next waypoint. Azimuth zero. Range thousand. Target. Yeah, we'll take him out. We'll take him out. Let's see if we can take his tanker out, shall we? He's on his own, bless him. Let's get around in the breach. Oh, I put it. Yeah, I think I put a saber around in there, but that's okay. Did I get him? Did I get him? Probably not. Negative. Reload another round. Okay, let's put some more range on it then. Oh, way too low. Love to know what these different designations actually are on the bottom left and bottom right. RVD, presumably, I'm not sure what that means. I'm sure, one of you will tell me in the comment section shortly. Now we'll be able to learn. Uh, I'm going back to position four again now. Come on, that's fine. We'll keep rolling.
Oh, this thing is slow. You can, I'm sure we can patrol a little faster than this. I guess the driver didn't want to go over that ditch. So I've got to admit, so far, guys, this game looks like it could be a little fun, a little bit of fun here. Uh, I mean, intrigued as to how the campaign, and the missions are going to go, could be definitely interesting. This is, this is taking a long time. Uh, the campaign, the tutorial, could have been probably compressed a hell of a lot more than having to change positions like this two, three hundred meters every time. It's kind of silly, but whatever. Let's see what it does this time. Okay. Hey, was three, four, five. Range thousand plus. Now, let me just get to position four first. Target. Okay, you can shoot a helicopter by a guiding missile. Hey, was three, four, five. Isn't it F eight button? Okay, so F six. Firing with PSU F eight. Okay, when shooting guiding missile, hard to. Okay, so we can go guided missile. This is going to be interesting. So let's go on to here. Okay, so guided missiles, helicopter, tanker. Let's go for the helicopter, shall we? So F6, so guided missile from guard station F6, firing F8. Okay. I don't know where the helicopter is though. Oh, there we go. Oh, crap. Okay, where's, where's the target? Where's the target? <coughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so I've got to keep it on target. Nope, that's heavy machine gun. Hey, was three, four, five. Range thousand plus. Target. Okay, I need to guess change to my missile. Um, uh, F8. Okay, I don't know what changes my missile though. Maybe it's just a Got different you. button. Oh. Hey, it was three, Didn't four, let me shoot five. the missile. Didn't let me shoot it. Or maybe he's just saying the target's finished. Okay, I got you. Where the hell is this helicopter? Christ, stop moving around! Ah, oh, whatever. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Uh, should have told the gunner to stop firing so I could have practiced, but... Wow, look at that. It's going to zoom in on what we last blew up. There we go. There goes the crew of the helicopter. Shitting themselves. Beautiful. Okay, guys. So, uh, that's... Uh, Iron Warriors T-72 Command for the basics, I guess. Nothing really uh, fancy so far. I just want to try and get a taste of the game. It looks like it could be really good fun. We're going to try and get into the campaign uh, shortly here. Uh, stay in touch. Uh, stay in touch. Stay in tune for more of this series, uh, guys. I hope you will definitely stay tuned for it because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. All the best. And leave a comment. Bye-bye.